Her needs more backcombing than I ever did with Lily, believe you. <laughs> <laughs> His journey to the top was full of highs and lows, even had a teacher called Miss Savage, and it's all here in his extremely readable new autobiography. It's called My Bucky Wucky. Will you please welcome the man himself, Mr. Russell Brands. Let me hear you. Come on. Russell, you're fabulous. Thanks. <laughs> you are. I tell you what, I'm, I'm having a ball reading this. Because thank you. You're, what's the word? Mellifluous with words. I mean, oh, it's thanks. beautiful. I mean, it's, and your imagination is wonderful. And it's a cracking, cracking read. Seriously. Oh, that's kind. I really of you. enjoyed it. I'm only on to page 14. And it's you... downhill from there. No. <laughs> You've had a hell of a time, Russell. I mean, you really have. I was jealous. I put the book down. Like, no, I haven't lived. Um. <laughs> No, but, like, the book opens, Pam, it opens in a clinic. Uh, but it's a clinic for addictions, but it's a, a, a sexual addiction, isn't it? I have had a similar problem myself. <laughs> Do you know what, Russell? I have got friends who wouldn't see that as a problem. <laughs> it would queue up. I think it's a risk, Pam and I yeah. being on the same sofa. <laughs> I, <think laughs> right. I want to know this. Is Pam safe? <laughs> it doesn't... No matter how high she builds these barriers, I will knock them down. I'll do Pam, anything. you don't stand a chance. I'm sorry. I just sit here defenceless and watch this. Okay. But Russell, I want to know: Are you cured? Did they cure you? Well, actually, that sex addict centre it put things in perspective. Some of them were right pervs. So <laughs> I came out and thought, oh, it's not that bad. I've just got a bit of an eye for the ladies, you know. <laughs> There's no harm in that. So um, I behave myself now. As a matter of fact, it's um, now 22 and a half days of celibacy that I've achieved. It's going quite well. Thank you. Although I think with Pam here, it's unlikely we'll reach midnight. I was, I was just going to say this. But Pam, do you want a fire guard in front of you to protect you? So... Well, uh, no, <laughs> but I, you know... I can manage, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, your drama class, that was your epiphany, wasn't it, when you discovered the drama class? Oh, it were an half a breakthrough doing that drama class. Yeah, before that, my personality was frankly a nuisance, but once you put it on a stage, it can be used to make money. Do you know when you... <laughs> See, that's all right. I don't know that honestly. <laughs> when, when you were a little boy, did you, like when they say you live in your own head, did you live in your own head? Very much, and it was an awful place to live, as a matter of fact. Lonely. Yeah, if it had been a tenement, it would have been condemned. <laughs> but, I but I lived in there regardless, and it was quite nice, you yeah. know, in your imagination from time to time, you know, yeah. eating biscuits, keeping myself out of trouble. Were you glad when everybody went out the house, you know, and you thought, so you were on your own, you think, please go? Because I yeah. used to think that, yeah, you think, get out. Yeah, I, although perhaps it was unwise to leave me alone with a vacuum cleaner for too long. <laughs> Sometimes I misused it. <laughs> The more I used the vacuum cleaner, the dirtier the house got. <laughs> I, I feel I should tidy up now to make amends. I think you should, actually. I'm not even going to ask you to explain, don't want to know. I thought you could leave it, you sort of euphemistic, Paul. That's right. So yeah. in case some people won't know what it means and they won't be offended. That's quite right. You are a true gentleman, Russell. Anyone who understands it will have just been sick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or does that time on the hands themselves with the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> but your agents, now there's a nice guy, you know. Oh, he's a lovely man, John, though. He's quite a notorious person within the industry. But yeah. Because he, he comes across like a great, big, vicious yobbo, but actually he's a very sensitive and lovely gentleman, although he'll not thank me for saying that because it might reduce the fees he gets for his clients. And his street track will go out the window and well, we all this a vicious yeah. yob. That's but he, sent, he pretended to send the bailiffs round. Yeah, that was out of order, that was. Well, no, like, I agree, though. He, guess what he'd done? Out yeah. of nowhere, apropos of nothing, he yeah. said I weren't paying my bills quickly enough, but I was paying my bills quickly enough. He sent two people, actors they were, around my house, pretending to be bailiffs. They sort of knocked on the door, goes, oh, we're bailiffs, we've come and get your TV set, we ain't paid your council tax. I said, I don't know what council tax is. What is all this? 
<laughs> didn't understand it. It was confusing, right? <laughs> I, I phoned him up. I goes, John, there's a lot of problems. There's people here. They want my TV set. He goes, let me talk to them. I handed them over like that. And, he went, and then, like, they spoke to him for a while. A little bit of nodding happened. Then they give the phone back. And he goes, yeah, you better give them the telly, Russell. And I, be I begrudgingly give them my TV set. They knock things over. There was a photograph, much like that one, as a matter of fact, on the TV. They knocked that over on the ground. Then I was phoning up Camden Council, saying, oh, what's going on the whole day, worrying about it. Then John revealed that he'd set up the whole thing for a joke. And one, one of the bailiffs had a camera in his hat. He sat, he sat me down in front of a TV set, and, and there was I, opening my door in my underpants. I looked awful. <laughs> oh, <lovely. laughs> it was embarrassing, Paul. Sweet arse, we can't be having this. Is he backstage? I'll have a word with him for you. No, he's not backstage. He's probably setting up another coup. It, yes. wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me to find out that this was an elaborate sting. It is. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes. Look, I mean, you've gone to Hollywood now. You've gone big time. What was that, that like, working in Hollywood? It's... Did you hate it? Well, it made me a bit nervous because uh, no one knows who you are. So if you want to give someone a cuddle, they're much more admin to do first. Yeah. You have to make people. Well, you have to give them a CV, tell them why you want the cuddle. Dating, it's called. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, I enjoyed it to to a point. But like, uh, it's hard being in films. A lot of sitting around waiting. But I uh, it. yeah, I want to do more. Don't you do some acting in films? I was in a film years ago, but it was only shown in Sweden, and we would rather not go on about it. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, was it set at that Twilight Club? <laughs> Russell, it was a long... But you are in a film that I, I love. It's a, a genre of movies I was mad on, the St. Trinian's films. Yeah. And you've replaced George Cole as... Da -da 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 Flash Harry. Flash Harry, yeah. I wonder if I'll have that theme tune. Oh, I Harry. hope so. I love it. Yeah, nee, it's nee, nee. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> You do love it. <laughs> what was it like being in that? What, how, what, how are they doing them now? Because I think, are you going to replace the likes of Joyce Grenfell and all these fabulous characters and Beryl Reed, who are the team? Teachers in. Rupert Everett, he's in it, he's really good. What? Who does he play? He does the Alistair Sim role. You're like, joking, Yeah, yeah, it? he's brilliant. He drags up for it, he looks nice. He based his character in drag on Camilla Parker Bowles, <laughs> I happen to know for a fact. <laughs> he looked nice. <laughs> and what's the schoolgirls like? Are they all the, mo like, the models? Well, actually, yeah, they're quite, like, the ones that are in their 20s, they're very, like, attractive and they're wearing schoolgirl uniforms and the rest of them are just normal schoolgirls. Yeah. So it's very, you just sort of go, ah, oh, that's an adult dressed as a schoolgirl, that's a schoolgirl. It's best just to stay in your trailer. <laughs> Keep out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I just aimed all my affection at Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> are you OK, Pam? I'm all right, I'm all right, yes. <laughs> Hasn't he got great charisma, though? You really have, you know. Oh, thanks. No, you have. <laughs> no. I like that charisma. It's a He's good thing. He's got a great turn of phrase. Hey, you, where'd, you get, where'd you get your turn of phrase? Exactly, from? this lovely Dickensian books. speech. Got out of books, off the of telly, stuff like that. I remember some of your poems. Well, they used to be on kids' TV when I was growing up. I wish I'd looked after my teeth, things like that. I liked it. <laughs> I wish I'd looked after my teeth. It went. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the other one? I wish I was a Whitney blanket. Remember that one? I do. Laid across your chest. How does it go after that? I, this is such a long time ago. I, I, I am a Whitney blanket, original and best. You'll never get cold feet with me across your chest. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Oh. That's I, wrote it. I wrote it for a tea towel, but they didn't want it, Paul. Oh, didn't they? No. Well, Cam, it's their loss. It was That's rejected. all I can say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the manufacturers of Whitney Blankets in Oxford lost. It's quite an achievement lost. to be turned down for a tea towel, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a tea towel with that on it. Would you? I would yeah. as well. I wrote you one. <laughs> would you? <laughs> I would. We'll get you the blank tea towel from Woolies Russell. Pam on a felt tip pen, we're laughing, we're in business. Yeah. I would never be able to dry up with it, I'd never. just admire it. You have to oh, hang it on you your wall. It'd be like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> That's it, on a bit of dowling. <laughs> So you've got a DVD out, so haven't you talked about films? Yeah, I have. Is this a nice clean one? It's a bit rude in places. Good. Some bits are rude. You'd like Good. it, I think. I love it, yeah. Mucky. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's all right. It talks about doing that film off in Hollywood. It talks about, you know, me feelings. It's quite funny. I think yeah. you should probably, if you want it, buy it. If you don't, just borrow it. OK. <laughs> I think a free copy comes somewhere, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What, as a free copy? Well, no, they normally give me to hold up, you know, and do the... But I haven't got one, so... I don't think it's out yet, but, like, you can... I'll get her your one, if yeah. you want it. will ya? Yeah. OK. You can All definitely right. have one. Do you want one? Pam? I'd like one. I can't resist it. <laughs> I'll swap it for a tea towel. All right. Bert, let's have a look at Russell's DVD. Come on, doing life. Why in our lifetime?
lifetimes, our human lifetimes that we're all enduring and enjoying together. Was there a programme? Why did this happen? There was a programme on our TV sets called Dogs With Jobs, right? <laughs> Dogs With Jobs? And they used to put it on at 11.30 in the morning, right? Now, I was unemployed at that time. <laughs> and I resented a programme called Dogs With Jobs being put on telly when they knew unemployed people would be watching. Hey. You know what, Russell? On a, on a serious note, seriously, what I'd like to say about reading this book is your bravery about the way you dealt with all your addictions and all that kind of stuff and you come out with flying colours and you look fabulous and you're a gentleman and I think you're smashing. Oh, how no, lovely. really, I really do. Because when the tabloids go on about, oh, Russell Brand did this, that and the other, they never ever say, oh, look at what he's achieved. Look at all these obstacles he's overcome. Look at these horrors. He got rid of that awful black dog off his back and look how well he's done for himself. Thank you. And I salute you for that. I oh, really do. Thank no, you, I really Paul. do. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Russell Brand, come on. Thank you. No, I mean that. I do. It's a fab book. Cheers. What next? <laughs> Some very unusual poems, so don't go anywhere. See you after the break.